Now, what would a car modeling series be without car rims, right? Okay, everybody, well, we're in Maya 2020, as you can see, and of course, if we're doing a car series, we need to do a video on car rims, right? Now, there are many, many types, many, many shapes. I'm gonna show you a technique or a principle that you can use on almost, uh, I would say all, but a lot of different uh, rims, and be creative following the same process, and you'll get, uh, you'll get there, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a polygon pipe. Go to polygon primitives, we're gonna go to pipe, and hit R to scale it out a little bit. Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's set subdivision level to 30, which should be fine. And then we're gonna go in, right click, go to face, and we can do that in this view. And we're gonna drag, select all the faces we don't need for now. Now that's where a lot of people go wrong. They start off way too high poly, way too complicated, and we're just gonna keep it simple, right? So we're gonna select that. We're gonna go to modify and center pivot. Hit W, hold on X, and snap it to the grid. So this is all we have for now. And that's how you make it easy, by getting rid of everything you don't need, right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna change the thickness. So open up the attribute error again. Let's set the thickness to 0 0.2. That should be about right. And then we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna go to edge, select one, and I'll hit four for wireframe mode, so you can see it better. Select one, skip two. So one here, one here, here, here. And for that reason, it's important to check an uh, even number if you wanna do this pattern, right? So we've got two spacing everywhere. Then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control E to extrude. We're gonna tweak the offset. We're gonna bring it in to about there, all right? Then we're gonna hit a G to repeat. And we'll bring it in some more. And a G to repeat, and we'll do that one more time until it's basically almost touching. Not all the way, but almost, right? Okay, so now we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close up these ends here. So this guy with that guy. We're gonna go up to Edit Mesh and Bridge, Option Box, Linear Path, Zero Divisions, hit Bridge, one and two, G to repeat, one, two, G to repeat, you get the idea, yep. There you go, one more. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna go to edge, Double click on this guy, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna kind of pull that out to about here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit W and push that down, right? Then we're gonna take this edge. And we're gonna push that up. So we'll get something like that, right? Then we'll take the outer edge and we'll push that up as well. Okay. Now this is of course a very basic shape, we're not done yet, but just to give you an idea. Um, so that could, be, uh, that could be that, right? We're not gonna leave it there though. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this edge, and actually not that edge, but uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go in here um, to insert edge loop. We'll do a manual one and we'll put that in here. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, scale that out a little bit. I would say about there, excuse me. We're gonna W and we're gonna kind of raise that like this. That looks a little bit better, I think, yeah. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the inside here. Select that, Control E to extrude, R to pull in. And we're gonna go to, I would say about there, then G to repeat, R to scale in a bit more. W to raise up, G to repeat, R to scale in again, 
and then a G to repeat, W to push down. And then we're gonna go to mesh and uh, fill hole. And then we want to get rid of that end gone there. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna go to edit mesh and poke. All right? That'll get rid of any uh, end guns there. Now, um, we're gonna do a soft select in a minute. Uh, we'll just uh, check that out and see how that pans out, right? But for now, let's uh, focus on bolts. So, uh, or nuts actually, sorry. Yeah, so we'll do these four, right? Okay, so we're gonna hit G to repeat last command, which will create that. We're gonna go to uh, vertex mode and we'll select one and two and three and four, there you go. Then we're gonna go to edit mesh and the chamfer vertex right there. Now, if you go in here and select these and delete them, and we do a soft select on this guy, just as a test, you should get a nice round hole, right? Okay, not bad. Then we need to have a few reinforced edges here. So we're gonna right click at an edge, and we're gonna take this guy and this guy, and we're gonna bevel to, let's try 0 0.1. Just to hold that shape, that's fine. So if we now hit three, we should get a bit of a harder edge there. And we do, which is nice, okay? Hit one to go back. I want to have uh, one in, the, I don't want them there yet because I'm going to extrude that. So I think, yeah, that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to extrude. Uh, one thing before we do is we're going to put in a twist, right? So I'm going to select this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Like so. We're going to E to rotate. We're going to give that a little twist to not go crazy. Something like this, probably. And now we can go in and extrude this guy. So control E to extrude. Let's try 0.1. That may be a bit much, but I think it's not bad. Okay, 0.1, then we're gonna go in here and do a preview smooth. Let's see what it looks like. And that's not bad at all, yeah. So we're gonna go and hit one to go back. And then we need to create the actual wheel, right? So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go in to face and then we're gonna increase that selection. We're gonna control E to extrude, W to pull out. To about there. And then we're gonna go into this view at four four wireframe mode, yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a vertex, we're gonna take these, we're gonna push them in to about there, let's have a look. That's looking all right. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna increase, uh, not increase, <coughs> we're gonna insert some edge loops. And we're gonna do that um, multiple and three, and actually we'll do five. Five would be better. And we'll put them in right there, okay? We're gonna cue on a keyboard. And then we're gonna go in here. Let's do that in this hue would be fine. Yeah, for wireframe mode, maybe not. We'll go in here, we'll do all of these. We'll hit R to scale in. And we'll take these, just these three. And I need to be careful with that because I don't want to have the inner edges. And that should be enough. Let's do a quick check. Hit three. And there you go, and that's not bad. Just want to reinforce a line here. And we're gonna insert an edge loop. And we'll do um, manual. I want one right there. I want one to hold that edge right there. And then I want two on top here, one and two. Let's do that here as well. And then one here. And one here. And one here. And there. Okay. Alrighty, let's do a quick preview smooth here. Let's hit three. 
and there you go i'm liking it Alrighty, so we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it instead of preview smooth it we're going to hit one so it's uh select it out like so we're going to hit w to move it up and let's make sure it's sitting right there yep Control d to duplicate w to move it over let's put that one on its side let's uh, flip it up like so hit w raise it up like this rotate a little bit you know how they usually pose those things you know there you go all right guys so uh, that's a fairly simple approach to uh, making car rims um yeah like i said there are many many ways to do it uh, we could bump up that uh, sub level to get rid of those black spots there so we'll go to mesh and uh smooth there you go looks a lot better and uh, yeah, that's all there's to it, guys. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you will be able to use the technique for your own video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.